welcome. I'm Kendra, your soapy friend, and today we are going to cut, unmold, and cut the soap that we made during yesterday's Wet Soap Wednesday Live. This is where we did the saguaro in bed. Here's a little leftover piece of the saguaro from the column mold. Okay, let's see what happened. I did notice some little bit of ashing on top. Um, that's okay. I'm not surprised with it. I didn't insulate any more than um, putting the lid on top of the mold here. So it looks like it insulated pretty well throughout with just a little bit of um, ashing on the top, which I think you can yeah, you can see right there. That's that's ash. That'll buff out or wash out, or I can just leave it. And I am thrilled. Oh, look how cute. Oh my goodness, that looks exactly like a sunset. Um, I am a little concerned right there. It doesn't look like some soap got into the channel of the saguaro. Oh, but it's so beautiful. All right, let's cut it and see how it came out. I'm just using um, a cheese slicer for my cutter. My trusty, well loved cheese slicer. Cutting a thicker bit off because I knew I would. Oh, it, it looks great. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I couldn't be happier with these. These are beautiful and amazing. I cannot wait to show you the colors as they brighten and deepen a bit over the next few days. When I first cut these, I noticed on the edge what looked like potentially soap batter not sinking into the channel of the soap mold. So in order to fix that, I'm just, I'm just grabbing a pinch of soap, almost using it like soap dough. It's just from the end piece. And I'm just going to massage it in. 